Hello everyone, good morning. Sage here, live from Calkine Studio in Sydney. You're watching the early trades. So let's get started with our market open report. And the Australian share market is trading lower at the open, extending its fall from the previous session. The S&P ASX 200 index is down 0.6%. Ingham's is leading the losses, down 8.2% after reporting Omicron was disrupting its operations and weighing on sales performance. ARB Corp was down 5.2% and Blackmore's had fallen 2.5%, with a number of other consumer stocks also trading lower. Polynovo had soared 10.5%, however, after reporting another month of record sales in the US. Afterpay was up 2.4%, buoyed by a late rebound from Block in the US overnight. And moving on now to the newsmakers, and Ingham says the Omicron outbreak across the eastern states of Australia has resulted in staff shortages and has weighed on its sales performance. The company said the rapid spread of the new variant was having a significant impact on the Australian supply chain operations, logistics and sales performance of Ingham's and some of its suppliers and customers. And while the company said all its major Australian sites were operable, some were experiencing significantly lower levels of staff availability, which was impacting production volumes and operational efficiency. It said due to the uncertainty over how long the disruption would last, it was premature to draw any definitive conclusions on the overall impact on its trading results. And BHP will punt up to $140 million on a massive nickel and cobalt project in Tanzania as the company makes good on a pledge to branch out into more challenging locations as it seeks out future-facing commodities. The dual-listed mining giant will invest on $40 million or close to that amount in the Kabanga nickel project, a partially state-owned venture described as the world's largest development-ready nickel sulphide deposit. The mine is expected to produce at least 65,000 nickel equivalent tonnes a year over its three decades of output alongside 4,000 tonnes of cobalt. And for the first half of 2022, medical device developer Polynovo has reported a 45% increase in sales compared with the same time last year. And while the company experienced patchy results across Europe and the UK, it has seen record sales for its US market for the period ending December 31st. Excluding funding from the Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority in unaudited results, Polynovo marked a 76% increase in the US sales over December compared with the previous year, with record revenues of $3.4 million. The results follow an increase in the company's US accounts with 16 new accounts added in the quarter and a further 19 added in quarter two, bringing the total to 154. And thank you for your company, but that's all for now in the early trade. Stay tuned to Calkine TV as we have many more shows lined up for you, sharing live updates across the economy, markets and sectors. Sage signing off for now.